Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, so now we have the beer meat phase has worked out nicely. Let's see where we are. Now we need to quickly do six more connections, and we got a connection bonus up here. So, and that's actually a cheapie. That's one we probably will never use, but we're just going to take that and run it. Into there, get some money for it, and that ticks off another one. Now, what we're going to do now is start firing stuff into Toledo because we want Toledo to grow. We've got beer meat going all over, so we'll get some growth all over these six cities. Other than Chicago, it's just going to sit there because it's so big already. But now we're just going to start firing stuff into Toledo that it needs. So we need wheat. Now we're going to start stressing our, our super station and see what it's made of. Oh, and you know what? Before I do that, I would like to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that we've got these other lines out here. We'll at least stub them out part of the way. Did I do that incorrectly? I certainly did. takes care of wheat. Now let's do corn. It's nice and close by. It's weird. I'm not getting a. Where's my little something? Not something's not right with this line. When you dig these trenches, trenches sometimes it it gets a little tricky. Oh, I went over one too far. <laughs> Couldn't see well, and I actually went over to that third line instead of the second line up. So now we got our little comfortable diamond we can grab. Run some corn into uh, Toledo. How busy are we getting? 50 cents. Oh, it can take a lot more. Okay. And we can run some uh, veggies in there. Now, here's where we're going to want to finish off that line. Have this come up like so. Oh. <sighs> 
can either clean this up and make this all nice and neat and then redo this merge, or we can just merge with that like so. That seems a lot easier, doesn't it? Looks nice and clean and that should work and now we should be able to run our veggies into that top pair Run a train of veggies in there. Okay. Now we have to decide how we want to do it. Well, wait a minute. Let me see. Where are we? Seven. We need three more connections. Let's get three more connections, then we'll start thinking. <laughs> um, we've got a nice one here. Cotton going into Indy would be a nice one. A little clumsy, maybe, where we're going to put it. Uh, we'll just run it right in there. It's just not that busy. Let's just make sure that we haven't set up a, a situation where these. All right, see that um, signal right there? I want to get rid of that one because I, there we go. I want, to, want them to stop back here so these trains don't interfere with each other. That's the one thing I'm trying to teach myself I, I, is to make sure that when you build a new merge like this that you kind of clean out the intersection area so you, you don't create a potential uh, bottleneck or a gridlock situation. That's eight. We need two more. Two more good ones that are kind of close and we know we can get them. 
Oh, fruit to Chicago would be an obvious one. Create a nice runway up to that uh, new platform. Felt that looked awfully strained. <laughs> Let's try this again. I want to come in before that tower. I think we'll leave that little bridge. Too much elevation change there. Should be able to go to Chicago and go to a nice open platform. Okay, one more. Well, there's some obvious ones. Corn to Chicago would be a no-brainer. That sugar going anywhere. Well, that sugar going to Toledo is what we really want. Let's see here. Thank you. We've got one big one that we haven't done yet. We're not bringing logs into Toledo, and Toledo is a, needs logs for one of its industries. So we need to either clean up that industry and replace it with something we like better, or get logs in there. And it would not hurt us at all to get logs in there. The, unfortunately, they're way down here on this map, but that's okay. We. We've got a good income now, we can afford this line. We can build this line without waiting too awful long. Fact, um, no, no.
360. We need about 400,000 to make that go. There, Toledo is growing right now. How is it doing? It's about to hit museum time. We'll definitely get a museum in there as quickly as we can. The Transcontinental Railroad is a nice dream. But you always wake up, and so will you. If you carry on at this pace, I could just walk instead of taking the train. Eighty one, we're still good. We can still load more stuff in there. One, two. Okay, that's a long line and it's a very important one. I'm gonna run at least five trains in there, and you'll see why in a moment. Now the next thing we have to do is to deliver this lumber to Rock Island. Now, we've got lots of options here. We could go anywhere we wanted close by. Like, we could go up here to Madison and buy, uh, there's lumber nearby. We could buy out one of these industries that isn't making any money for, well, 550 That's pretty expensive. Or we could ship the lumber that we're already, that's already being produced in Toledo straight to Rock Island. So that's the way we're going to uh, go. Sorry, I had a little break and now I'm trying to figure out what I was doing. Oh yes, we're going to run. Uh, I was just saying, we've got, we already have a lumber, a sawmill here. In fact, I'd like to buy it. I'm going to buy it while it's cheap buying it before those logs start getting there once those logs start getting there its price is going to go up because it's going to start making money so what we're going to do here now is run our line from toledo to rock island and how are we going to be nice to do that without spending a billion dollars wouldn't it and there is a way to do that we can go out of our station here well see i don't want to use this station now here's a trade-off these guys, because you can use any platform, and you can't specify a platform, I don't think it'd be a good idea to say, I want you to wait on a full load here. Because if you're running multiple trains, and let's say four of them went in there and waited on a full load, and especially if they were waiting on something else to come in so that they could have a full load processed, like lumber, for example, coming in, and we've got all four lines, platforms tied up with something waiting, now we're dead. So there's a case where you don't want these things. So what we're going to do is put in another station. We'll just start with a small one. Let's see. Can we put it in here? Put it close to it. We'll get that business we have to watch out for. Okay, and then we'll run our line from this. And I'd really rather just run a straight line instead of trying... I mean, we, we could literally, we could go up this way, build a little bypass around Grand Rapids, a bypass around Chicago, come down here. and uh, I don't want to do all that. I just want to build a straight line right to Rockford. It would be expensive, but uh, it, at the end of the day, it will be more efficient. And we also keep in mind, of course, we have to run those passengers to Omaha, which is going to go right through Rockville because that's the only place you're allowed to pass the Mississippi on this scenario. Or across the Mississippi, I mean. And we could try our flat track here, but I think I'd rather have the bridge and keep that line moving. Okay. 
how are we on money? Ah, beautiful. We can open another bond. Build our track. And, uh, and let's do this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll depart. We'll, we'll build this one with two tracks. Make a little more conventional looking line out of it. Hmm. Uh, oh, that bridge is next to that. Um, that supply tower is in the way. I'm gonna have to move. I think. I think the easiest thing is to move the supply tower. What in the world? I don't think that was supposed to happen to you. I've never had that happen before. That's a, <laughs> let's call that a feature in the beta. Yeah, I like this train. <laughs> Look at this train. Whenever you have something mess up, oh, wow, he's a fast one, too. Okay, <laughs> that was good. Okay, sorry, where was I? Oh, okay, uh, getting some phone calls here. All right, so... We're going to make a, kind of your standard double connection here. We put in our signals. And it takes us all the way through. Put in some uh, towers. And now what we're going to do is run kind of a special line. We're going to say you're going to go from here on track one, and you're always going to be full, and your preference is going to be to take lumber, and you're going to take it to there, to Rock Island, on track one. We don't care what you bring back. And now that we own, oh, let's get, let's get our museum in here for sure. We own the sawmill. We want to bump up that um, production. We're getting a good supply of wood. And here's what's happening here. I want to show you. In Rock Island, there is a construction site that creates demand. And that demand, look at this, is seven per week. Not only is that seven per week, but that stays even after we fulfill the 50 to build the bridge. So we can turn this little um, sawmill into a real money maker by just pumping, pumping that stuff out there. So let's see here. Crack one. Let's start another one. See there, their production is already stepping up. Well, we're not having any trouble filling up trains here, are we? There we go, now we're slowing down a little bit.
Got one almost coming back. I think we can afford one more. And we're going to start looking for things that will give us more passengers. More passengers. More passengers. More passengers. Good deal. And what else do we want to do? We're in 1852. We need to get moving here. We want to buy one of our competitors. Now, we're at 12 million, they're at three, so we're four times their size, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Five million dollars. Hmm, five million dollars. We can get one, two, about two and a half, so we need two and a half million. So we need to, we're going to pay off our open bond. And we can get one, two, 2.4. We need about, we need to accumulate about three million in cash for this to work. And we're making progress on our deliveries. Oh, we gotta make sure we grow Toledo, Toledo, Toledo. How are we doing? He's doing well, he's doing well. Oh, they're 80% growth. Oh, they're doing great. <laughs> In fact, one of the, oh, milk. We could throw milk in here. Why not? We'll, we'll do milk while we're waiting on other stuff to go on. We've got milk way up here. Oh, man. I don't want it on this line. Well, it doesn't matter. This, 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 this line is not busy. We can use that. We'll expand this station. Create another platform. Run it. Oh, have I mentioned lately how much I love bridges? Okay. Let's just add both, both of them. Okay, now we added platforms three and four. By putting our diamond, our X down here, we open up both of those platforms and by doing the merge up here, this trunk line can then feed to platforms three and four. So if we can run our milk down, come here. If we can run a milk line down, <laughs> we'll have some bridging here. Okay, down here and just connect it in with that main line. Oh, that's not bad right there. We'll just have a bridge. All right, go like that. I don't mind spending this money when we're getting ready to do a big bond to purchase somebody because we're just adding to the total value, our company value, by having more structure, more bridges, more track, more everything. Okay. That wasn't, that was pretty painless actually. So we'll run milk into track three. Okay, there's some more stuff coming into Toledo. We're 83% growth. They could use a little more cattle actually let's 
get some more cattle headed in there. And we can put in another business. If we put the right one in, that will seal the deal. Oh, we just ran milk. Let's do a dairy farm. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? We do a dairy and bump up its production. That milk's on its way. We'll make money from it. We'll satisfy demand in Toledo for the milk or the dairy. Kill two birds with one stone, the milk and the dairy. How are we looking? 31. Go faster, go faster. Okay, Toledo's done. We're, we can take that off our list. It will be done in a minute. Competitor will be no problem. 1852, 50, 51. Oh, we're slow. Man, we're slow. Get moving, get moving. I see Toledo has become quite big. Are you claiming that your railroad had a big influence on its development? Beatrice is kind of taking off here, of course, and of course they're going to do that. When it's time to start buying them, that they're going to ramp up their growth. Where are we? 1.5, 6, that's, we got 4 million. Let's buy, take the lowest one, Beatrix. By 73%. And there it's telling us Going into this business might pay off. we could actually buy her out and then, of course, as I explained earlier, start taking profit from her, which is pretty decent. So we could make some money that way, but we got to buy her out and, and merge with her, I believe. Buy one of your competitor's companies. I don't think we'll get credit until we uh, actually do the merger. Remember, the scenario was written before the new tech, the new uh, 1.7 functionality. Come on, dairy farm. Where's our milk? Here it comes. See, we've got, a, we've got a lot going on down here, and look how nicely this uh, station is handling everything. No problemo. But I would argue, look how nicely this station is handling everything. You know, we've got one waiting, but that's probably, but yeah, that's because of this run full command we have. If we didn't have that, there would be no hesitation here at all. Look at our cash racking back up pretty quickly. Okay, 93%. So what else do we need here? Oh, almost nothing. Okay. Oh, it did give us credit. So let's just let's let's just not even. Um, we're we're in possession of one hundred percent of our shares. 
gain all their financial excess automatically. Shares worth nothing in cash. This company will not expand any further and will no longer take part in auctions. However, existing line stations will be in operation. Beautiful. Well, let's just see how that does. See if we make any money. And let's see where would it show up. And we'll wait for our next quarterly report and see where it shows up. Where are we? All right, we're at 47 on our shipments. Admittedly, I do it reluctantly, but I there we go. Okay. You succeeded in delivering the material for the bridge, and now it's finished. The Mississippi has been conquered. You can advance deeper into the west. Okay, so now we need to run a line all the way to Omaha. This is our final objective. Okay, go around this um, salt or whatever that is. What is that? Salt, yeah. Okay, now we run a, want to run a passenger line from Toledo all the way to Omaha. And let's see what we've got here. Oh, we, the Rensselaer's is Express. Ah, we can't get the Rogers American. 3740. Okay, we can't quite get to Rogers American, but that's all right. We'll run the Rensselaer. I think. Shucks. Okay, as each one crosses the river, I'll fire up a new one. The other thing we could do, of course, is build a separate track for it. Because it is competing with, uh, we have a lot of uh, other trains running. That's all right. Yeah, we really need another track.
one thing is let's see if we can make these lanes okay first time I should look at this this is an old school this is the way we had to do merges when the game first came out before you could do the X you had to go from one lane over to the other and then right in front of it go back over to that original lane that give you gave you the equivalent of having that, that X or diamond but we're going to take that out because it takes up too much space space is tight and we're going to put in our new school X a nice tight one and then we'll run this line up and merge it as quickly as we can move it over to the other lane and then run this lane up and merge it in quickly had to get all that done before the bridge so now all four of these lanes are accessible well, I could put an X in here I'm not it's not needed but we'll put this in too that's totally not needed okay now all four lanes kid can go through and go over that bridge so what I want to do now is build a lane another set of track an express track so that these see these trains are, are um, we've got these express trains running alongside freight trains and they're being slowed up and that shouldn't be Everywhere there's a bridge, we have to kind of get over away from it. I love bridges, can't you tell? All right, sorry, I'm muttering to myself here, aren't I? All right, so where are we? Do, 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 do. Bridge, bridge, bridge. That, that bridge got nice and tight. I like that one. Okay, now, I believe that the ones we've already set up, because we told them to run out of track four, yeah, see, they're already they're going to move over here and start using that other track from now on. So that means that we can go ahead and copy these. He's going to run on our faster lane. Good deal. Faster trains on a faster lane. And now we can make them even faster. We'll take the Rogers American and we'll 
go find the one Mashik found for me and boom. And have we done everything? Yes, we have. Now let's promote Omaha. <laughs> if it's bigger, we'd put an attraction in it. That would really uh, seal the deal. coming back. Yeah, we're starting to get trains back, so we don't really necessarily need more trains. Making great money on this. I really don't use express lines enough. I really don't. I'm going to have to work on that. Almost there. It's June. It's, let's see. Did we start in 1850? Oh, this is slow. We're slow. We're slow. I tell you what, that lumber to Rock Island, I've played this one multiple times. You really want that lumber to come from over here near Rock Island. Moving it from Toledo is a slow way to go. Our two farms aren't making any money right now because there's no demand. We need to set up more demand. So, for example, we need to be shipping from Toledo. If we were worried about money, obviously we're not. Toledo to Chicago would be a great line, a direct line to have to get customers for our, our businesses. We also really didn't do anything to make... You know, let's give you a museum. We didn't do anything um, really to optimize this guy here I invested my money but we finished so let's see how we did skip the cutscene all right ah shucks well we got a perfect score and we finished it in three years and eight months and our and we set a goal for ourselves of three years and three months we were five months slow now let's go back and see why I'll just give you my opinion of why we were slow. Okay. The first thing is, the biggest thing, messed around too long with these two lines right here. When we were finishing off our uh, rapid expansion, rapid expansion says go out to four or five cities, and we went out to six. So uh, we, not only did we go out to six, but then we finished off that connection that way. Now, that really gave us a nice economy. I mean, you know, look at our size versus our competitors. We're at 24, we're f almost five times their size. That's, that's terrific. In fact, let's just see if we can figure out if we made any money from Beatrix. Quarterly report made almost $3 million last quarter. I'm thinking Beatrix helped us. Let's see. Miscellaneous, 564. I'm guessing that's the, her money. I'm guessing that uh, she's given us about a half a million a quarter or a couple million a year in profit, and we're just letting her run. And in fact, just, just to see it, let's go out and buy Beatrix. That certainly won't be hard to do. I mean, Tricia. 
$9 million. There's seven. Oh, here we go, here we go. Good, perfect. Analysts, we're going to go to, to um, we're going to have Brandon Walker work on Tricia and reduce her share price. So you go, and let's go look at Tricia's share price. It's at 34000 a share. Is that right? All right, where's our analyst? Because her share prices are going up. <laughs> They're going up a lot. Oh, here we go. No. Forty. Her share prices are going through the roof here. Did I misread that? Well, we'll buy her anyway. <laughs> All right. And I'm actually going to let this run. I'll fast forward though. We don't all have to watch it, but I will let it run. And we will get our quarterly report uh, Q f at least next quarter. Well, I'd like to. I will let it run through March of of 1854, and we'll look at the quarterly report and see what this number is right here, and see if that's uh, what we think it is the profit that we're uh, drawing from these other two. Because you can see now they are still operating. You can see here, we've got trains going and stuff happening. And we could probably even go down here and participate. I mean, we could go down and buy businesses. You know, we could do whatever we wanted. We're now, basically, we're in sandbox mode. You notice I never did put in maintenance. That was by design. We also saw that this guy right here worked beautifully. But I would argue, so did this one. And again, this waiting is strictly because of this running full right here. If we didn't have that, we'd have no waiting in this one either, and it cost us $100,000 less. Now, we did have to do some work. We had to, you know, we had to assign these um, uh, platforms. But no big deal. All right, so let's... Uh, let's see. Let's close out our bonds. Okay, we're coming up on the end of March and get our quarterly uh, results here. Yep, there we go. Look at this. 690 before. 704. That's profit we're making from keeping those other businesses going. That, that, that's one more thing we can do. So what did we see? We saw, we saw the um, Fancy Dan uh, auto uh, station work great. Uh, very easy to use. We saw our rapid expansion strategy work great, even though I overdid it and cost us a few months, probably. We had a perfect score, which is nice. And we saw, uh, what else did we see in this one? Oh, we saw the stock uh, buying out a competitor and starting to reap their profits. That was nice. And so anyway, I hope you saw something in this that will either help you uh, play this mission or become a better player or at least understand what's going on with uh, the uh, version 1.7, uh, as they would say, soon to be in a store near you.
I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.